Hey guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to a new video. So I am filming this in the bathroom, which is a little bit weird, but as promised, I will just kind of do a talk through skincare routine video for these guys, which I haven't done in years actually. And majority of these products are products that I have featured multiple times on my channel for the past year or so. Um, so I won't go into depth about the product itself, I'll just link, I guess, certain reviews about each product. So for my skincare routine, I use like five products. It's really basic and simple. I, I've tried the whole 10 step, 7 step Korean skincare routine, but yeah, I just prefer to keep mine a lot more simple and just you know with the basics that your skin needs for a cleansing routine the only thing is that at nighttime i do use a cleansing balm and then in the morning i use a sunscreen so everything else is the same in terms of the cleanser the toner and the moisturizer and then yeah it's just those two that are used on either the morning routine or the nighttime routine so Today, I'm just really going to show you guys the nighttime routine, even though it's daytime. You should always clean your face before you sleep. That's the least you can do for your face. And um, even if you don't wear makeup, to be honest, my routine is very simple, like I said. So maybe for those who are new to, you know, a skincare routine, um, my routine could kind of be like a example. So yeah, let's get started. So for me, I... <laughs> don't mind the washing machine in the background but for me i always have to have to have my hair out of my face it's just a small pet peeve but i hate getting my hair wet while i'm washing my face so i do wear a headband or a clip sometimes and then i would tie my hair because this could still get wet and that's basically how i start off with cleaning my face so the first product i'm going to use is the hamish all clean balm these guys should be familiar with this i use this much this amount of product is what i use i try not to use too much because this is a balm but then as you kind of work with it and it melts with the warmth of your fingertips it starts to become an oil based kind of cleanser so you don't need too much but because my makeup today is quite a little bit more on the heavy side i'm just going to um start off with that and i always start off with my face first like the base makeup and then i will work towards the eyes and then the lips from this point it's going to start getting messy um, because obviously you're just spreading around um makeup that's you know being removed from the surface but yeah i start off with the base because you can really see um how it's being lifted or you know getting dissolved and then I would work especially around the nose because I do have a lot of um, larger pores around that area you want to unclog them and then I would move on to the eyebrows and I always tend to use um, the three these three fingers the index the middle finger and the ring finger for my entire face and I kind of just slowly rub it in circular motions don't forget the jaw as well because I contour around here so far it doesn't look too bad right I don't look too crazy but you can definitely see the makeup is being moved around so as for the eyes that's when I move on to the ring finger or and the middle finger just be very gentle um, as for eyeshadow 
it's easy to remove because I don't really use a lot of eyeshadow. The reason why I tend to use cleansing oils more is just purely for the waterproof mascara because it just gets everything done all at once. So I don't have to use a separate makeup remover. Um, I feel like cleansing can just be such a hassle and you know, if you have a product that can just do everything all in one go, it will save a lot of time. And then onto my lips, I would use my other fingers and just kind of melt that. And that's it. So the quick trick, I know I look crazy, but the quick trick for this is before you completely rinse this off, as water touches the cleansing oil, it starts to turn milky. So you're supposed to kind of do this first before you completely rinse it off so kind of turn it into a milky kind of um, consistency and then I will rinse my face completely with warm water okay so I'm done cleansing or rinsing off the cleansing balm moving on to my second step, cleansing step which is part of my double cleansing routine I'm going to use the Cosrx Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser and I use around this much so I don't use a lot um, I'm just going to apply it onto my face oh right I remember um, another point about the cleansing balm just before I start talking about the cleansing wash um, the reason why I prefer cleansing balms is just because it's a lot more gentle on the skin. It causes the least skin irritation while, you know, removing your makeup because you're just using a balm or an oil-based cleansing product in your fingertips. So you're not adding any skin irritation whatsoever. And you also get to kind of massage your face while you're removing your makeup. So it's just become something that I've stuck to in terms of a makeup remover because it's just so easy and gentle so onto the wash i've talked about this many times um there doesn't need to be much of an explanation because the way i would just use this is just the way you would basically wash your face um but yeah these guys should know that i really love this cleanser and i haven't changed it at all for like almost two years now this is good for both day and night so you know it doesn't require me having to use two separate cleansers for both day and night so this is a lot more easier for me and this just works really great on my skin so i'm gonna kind of wet my face again and rinse it off because it's losing a lot of um moisture like it's not lathering so I'm going to just rinse this off. Now that I'm done cleansing, the amount of times I emphasize how important it is to tone your face almost immediately after um, washing your face. This is the next step that I would do. And the one that I'm currently using is the one by Secret Key, which is the Tea Tree Refresh Calming Toner. And I think I've mentioned this in the past where depending on the season, my toner does change. Um, during the hotter seasons, I would use ones that are more leaning towards pore care or um, that just help balance out the oil in my skin. And then winter time, it's usually mainly hydration because my skin gets very dry. So my skin is very different um, depending on the season. So really my skincare doesn't always stay the same but the only thing i tend to really change is the toner this is the part where you're just really allowing your skin to balance out again after being cleansed and also it removes excess product that wasn't you know removed from both the double cleansing part and this one um just helps with my skin feeling less oily 
but well hydrated at the same time and it makes it feel very smooth like it gives this really thin layer of just smoothness and your skin just feels really soft um, this toner also does absorb really quickly so I do enjoy that a lot because it doesn't require that much work and then you can see there's like excess there which is gross um just gonna tap the rest and really the last step is moisturizer if this was the morning i would use the sunscreen right after but because i'm just kind of focusing more on the nighttime routine the last step would be moisturizer and this is the Cosrx um, oil free lotion and i tend to use two pumps and just apply this all over my face and also don't forget about your neck that's not a part of your face that you should take care of it's something that I actually do neglect quite often but I'm trying to get myself into the habit of always including my neck when I'm doing my skincare routine the mirror is right here so that's why I'm looking that way okay I think I'm done. My skin does look a little bit red. Of course, it's kind of raw and a little bit irritated just from me kind of, you know, massaging in the lotion. But um, this is basically it. I should take my hair out. Um, maybe I should have kept the headband. It's very quick and easy, it doesn't require that much time but because this was more of a talk through video, it did take longer. Obviously, you guys can see that my skin is not perfect. I still do have a lot of blemish scars or just like skin pigmentation um, but through these products, I'm still able to maintain my skin and just take care of it to keep it well hydrated nowadays the blemishes that come out just tend to be from you know certain um situations that you can't avoid as a girl and yeah that's basically it it feels weird ending the video with me being barefaced because it's the complete opposite of what i do but um yeah feel free to like share and subscribe and i guess i'll see you guys in my next video bye